Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about very basic but sometimes confusing terms about the difference between ESXi and vCenter server. So the discussion starts with very basic concept that uh, we have some computer on and that computer we have these resources, we have RAM, CPU, hard disk and NIC. So most of the time these resources sit idle, they are not used for any purpose. And now to efficiently use the resources available on any computer, uh, we use the concept of virtualization and virtualization is a process of creating software defined computer. So software defined computers are basically virtual machines. So we can create virtual machine, multiple virtual machines, which are basically computers. You can see on a single computer, we can have multiple virtual machines on every virtual machine we can have different things running maybe we can have some website here we can have database here we can have something else but now to create those virtual virtual machines we need uh, a piece of software that is known as hypervisor and there are multiple hypervisors by different uh, vendors and esxi is basically is the hypervisor by vmware so it means ESXi is a virtualization software that is used to create multiple virtual machines. So that's the best definition of ESXi. In addition, ESXi is also known as bare metal hypervisor or the type one hypervisor, which directly runs on physical server without the need of any underlying operating system. So in the type, uh, um, Two, we have the operating system, but here we don't need any operating system. So that is ESX. So the basic thing is that that is the hypervisor needed to create computer-based computer that is known as virtual machines. So that is something ESXi is. Now let's see, for example, here we have, and yes, I have taken these from VMware website. So let's say we have a hardware and on that hardware, we have installed this ESXi. Uh, VMware ESXi that is the virtualization software and with the help of that uh, ESXi we can create multiple virtual machines and you can see these virtual machines are basically using the resources from this physical machine so this physical machine can have RAM network interface card hard drives whatever they have they will be shared among all these virtual machines and this is this is something which is going to manage it yes so that's the job of ESXi and on those virtual machines, they can have their own operating system. They can have their own application program as we discussed in our previous slide. And now you can see instead of uh, one ESXi, we can have multiple ESXi. We can have multiple hardwares and in those hardwares, we can have multiple ESXi. So in this way, we actually create a data center. So that's the concept of being used in the cloud. So anyway, uh, instead of one uh, the single ESXi, we can have multiple ESXi machine and the job of all the ESXi machine is to uh, facilitate us to create multiple virtual machines. Now in this situation, we would like to have some central entity to manage all these virtual machines. So let's see if first, I, let me remove this. So now to manage all these ESXi machine, we, some, we need some centralized entity so this vCenter server is basically a centralized management platform which is used to manage all these ESXi machines. You can see here we have this ESXi and on that ESXi we have these virtual machines and in this ESXi we have these machines and these all virtual machines available on multiple ESI, ESXi hosts can be managed with the help of vCenter server. And we can access this vCenter server using vSphere client. So these are the vSphere client. We access this vCenter server and vCenter server is going to manage all these VMs. And these VMs are basically created on this host machine. So now I think in this slide, the, the, the difference is very much clear that ESXi is basically a host where we can create virtual machines and now to manage these multiple ESX, ESXi, we have this vCenter server. So let's go to the next, uh, maybe see, let's see this. So with the help of vCenter server, we can actually create, configure and monitor virtual machine. So if, for example, if you want to create virtual machine on this host or maybe on this host, we can create 
it with the help of vCenter server. So this is something we can do. And then the second thing is that this vCenter server can be used to configure or to set up high availability and fault tolerance. So high availability is used to minimize the downtime by restarting the failed virtual machine on an alternative host server. So let's see what happens here. What does high availability do? It says that if one of the virtual machine fails, let's say this virtual machine fails, then this can be restarted maybe some on some other host to avoid any downtime. And here, this is also can be used to set up fault tolerance. So in the, in the case of fault tolerance, vCenter actually creates a shadow instance of any virtual machine. And in the case of any hardware failure, the virtual machine can be, can be initiated or can be started with the help of shadow instances. So that is the job of fault tolerance. And that's actually um, done with the help of vCenter server. So these are more functions of vCenter server, which I uh, try to explain it here. And then this vCenter server is also allow us to enable vMotion and vMotion is the live migration of virtual machine between hosts. So maybe if we want to move this virtual machine from this host because of some problem, if you want to move this virtual machine and to somewhere else, so we can do this even when the virtual machine is in powered on state. And then one more function of vCenter server is that we can also enable uh, DRS, our distributed resource scheduler, and that is used for load balancing. So that every XI host has equal number of maybe virtual machines running on it. So that is the function of ESXR. And on this slide, this is actually again this taken from this website. You can see we have multiple ESXR hosts and they are being managed by vCenter server. And in this last slide, we are going to discuss the difference or summarize the difference between ESXR and vCenter. So ESXR hosts they run virtual machines and they are used to manage physical resources available on the hardware or, or maybe on our computers. And vCenter server provides centralized management for managing multiple ESXi hosts, as we saw in one of the slides. And this includes virtual machines, this includes virtualized infrastructure and other advanced features like we saw high availability and fault tolerance can be enabled with the help of vCenter server. Few words about vSphere or the VMware vSphere itself. So VMware vSphere is basically a platform. And in this platform, we have multiple components. So ESXi and vCenter server are basically components of vSphere, VMware vSphere. And VMware vSphere can have some more components in it as well. So it's not an individual component. It is actually a combination of components and we call it a virtualization platform. So it's a family of different software and management tools. And now I would like to show this in VMware, the difference between ESXi and vCenter. Now you can see here in my VMware, basically I have this ESXi host and I also have this vCenter. And now to access this vCenter, I have this vSphere client. So I'll click it on vSphere client and I'm going to access that vCenter server using this vSphere client and uh, for that I need to give my username and password. So now we have given the username and password and we click login. So remember we are using vSphere client to login into vCenter server. So now you can see we have this host that is 192.168.10.148 so that is ESXi host and we can manage this ESXi host from this vCenter server and you can see we use vSphere client and you can see in this vSphere client this host is there this host is this one 148 and this has been added in this uh, vCenter and within that vCenter you can see that on this host one once a machine virtual machine is running which is actually vCenter server so, and in this way, we can add actually more ESXi host in this vCenter server and we can configure them and we can enable multiple functionalities or multiple features using this vCenter server. Okay, so that's it. I think uh, that's the difference between ESXi and vCenter server. And I hope this can be helpful for some of you. And thank you. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in some.